Kalil in 6.5 a Creed Mora from Evocados Strategic. One shot, one kill challenge. We starting from 100 yards. This is going to be a live TV. So the adjustments for the camera will be made by Ula as we go. Some of the targets, uh, they should be good. Like uh, Ula told me that the 100 and the 150 yards we should be go good, but I'll check with her anyway to make sure that you guys are having the best uh, view in the house uh, and everything is looking good. But enough with the bullshit talk, uh, let's uh, roll. 100 yards, first shot. All right, let me get comfy here. Aiming. Boom, and easy hit. All right, 155 yards, 150 yards. Ula, are we good on that? Yep. All right, we are, we are good on that. I see the smiley face. Uh, this is an interesting target because I see the smiley face over the hill from my vintage point. The target is kind of hidden because the hill goes down, uh, but I'll try to whack that smiley face. <laughs> we'll see if this, this could be accomplished. Boom! <laughs> I think he got hit right, right in that uh, smiley face. Uh, oh, I forgot to to add the major hit uh, for 100, major hit for 150 uh, yards. So I'm doing uh, great here. The next target, and let me shift a little bit my uh, support, will be at uh, 255, uh, 255 yards. Again, that target is partially hidden and it is only a half size IPSC uh, target. So only nine inches to work with. It should be interesting shot. I'm looking at my notes and the notes are saying tip of the post underneath of the chevron should be in the center of the target. So that's exactly what I'm going to do. Ula, how are we doing with the camera? Camera is ready. Camera is ready. 255 yards target. Let's see what we got. Boom! That's exactly where the hit went, where I was aiming. This is a nice shot. That's a major plus for me. So three shots, three hits. We're doing great! How are we doing with camera for 300? I'm on the yeah. roll. Is 300 ready? Not yet. Not yet. 300 is not ready. I'm using a match uh, one for the ELD from Honnadi uh, ammo here and it seems to be working ready. beautiful with uh, that uh, rifle. Scope is 128 ACSS, a Griffin mill reticle. That's the older, older model. I don't even know if they make those, but uh, I had it. Uh, I slap it on that uh, Galil. It has the side rail. The guys from Evocado Strategic mounted the regular side row, AK side row on it. So I have RS Regulate 303 AKR on the top and then the 1 to 8 scope for this. So high speed DMR setup. All right, camera is ready. Safety down. And at 300, um, again, tip of the post at the top of the triangle. Okay, that sounds like a plan. And boom, uh, that's a nice hit, a little bit on the right side. Uh, maybe some, there's some wind there, I don't know, I'm not sure. But uh, it's a good hit, elevation-wise. I think that's the major plus again for Robert. <laughs> but uh, yes, tip of the post was on the top of the triangle. And we are a little bit, I see, yeah, we are like uh, two and a half, three inches to the right. So we'll see how I'm going to deal with that uh, 325 yards target. That's only nine inches uh, wide target. Again, half size IPSC. As soon as Ula will let me know, are we Ready? good? On the camera? Yep. All right, we are good on the camera. And my notes are saying, tip of the post on the shoulder level. Tip of the post on the sh shoulder level. All right, I got target inside. Boom, dead in the center. I would say this is the drop. I'm not adjusting the scope, guys. As you can see, I'm rolling with uh, basically the lines I got in that uh, reticle. 
and that worked out beautifully. That's the major plus again for the Robert and the hit was yeah, the windage wise, we are a little bit on the left side. I pushed it more to the left because I was uh, reflecting the situation from 300 yards. So I want to correct. And I think we're doing okay. Time for the 350 yards. Ula, how are we doing with camera? I'm ready. All right. Camera is ready. 350 yards. I will hold uh, with, again, with the tip of the post, but I'm going to push it a little bit higher. We'll see how this is going to work out for me. Yes, we are. We, that's a good hit, but we are low. We are a little bit low. Let me check with the better spanning scope glass. Yeah, we are just below the, the triangle. Again, I'm on the left side, but that's on me. I pushed to the left because I was scared. I think that 300 yards, but maybe we'll keep it in the center right now. I don't know why that uh, shot drifted uh, to the left at 300, a little bit, right? It was a little bit, wasn't that much. Yeah, it was, I mean, it was on the right side. Uh, that's why I'm pushing to the left. So we will see what's going to happen. I'll keep uh, in the middle at 400. So that's a major hit, major plus for 350. As soon as this camera is ready, uh, we'll switch to 400 uh, yards. How are we doing with camera? Camera is ready. All right, 400 yards. And I should use the first headline uh, for that target because it lines up nicely. That's what my notes are saying. All right, 400, got him. Boom, right on the tip of the triangle, a little bit on the left side, that's on me. That's exactly what I did. <laughs> so, uh, wow, the rifle shoots just where I pointed. Amazing, that's a major hit uh, for Robert. This is going very well uh, so far, uh, all hits. Uh, but uh, now we're cranking up a little bit, uh, 450 yards. Again, we are switching to the head size, IPSC uh, size target. And as you can see, I'm not dialing anything to the scope. I'm just using reticle and my notes, which I had for the distance and I'm doing holdovers. So this system seems to be working really, really uh, cool so far. And bet you I will jinx it right now. Ula, how are we doing with 450 yards? Camera is ready. Camera is ready. All right, 450 yards. I should keep between the hash marks. All right, let's see if we can squeeze this one off. Boom. Holy cow, that's the top of the triangle. I could see it. That was a good shot. I'm, I'm patting myself on the back. Rap, you're doing outstanding. A beautiful hit. Let me check with the spanning. Yep, I'm on the top of that uh, triangle. This is exactly where you want to be. Wow. All right. That was the hit. Uh, so another major plus. Now we are going to the 500 yards. 500 yards target. It's uh, on that uh, left side from the tree. And uh, it's kind of cool when you're watching through that trace camera because of the field of depth, uh, they all look like they're online. But trust me, they're not all in line. <laughs> they vary in distances. And uh, now we're adding a 50 uh, more yards. As soon as camera is ready, camera, is, camera ready. is ready. Okay, 500 yards. So let's see if we can pull this shot off. I was a miss on the right side. I was afraid of it. I will do the correction right away. I could see it in the reticle. Boom, and now I push it. See, and that hit is on the left side of the plate at the 500 yards. And I will tell you that miss was completely on me. I screwed this up. I push it to the right. Uh, when I was squeezing that trigger and that these are consequences. Uh, this is there is no forgiveness So but that's a major minus even with that second hit That's a major minus on me and you know the rules one shot one kill that would mean that if that guy was there I made the correction right I corrected myself immediately But if that guy would be there he would put me back 
to sleep. So that's why I'm getting a minus bad rap, bad rap. All right, Ula, how are we doing with 550? 550 is ready. Let's see if we can uh, hit that guy without uh, being killed. 550, my notes, 550, all right. Boom, that's a hit. I'm on the left side of the plate, but you know what, hit is a hit. All right, this is it, guys. We are at the bottom of the reticle. We're going to attempt to go after 600 yards. 600 yards, uh, this should be interesting, and uh, we will see what's going to happen on that uh, shot. As I said, we are bottoming out on the reticle, which is cool, which is cool. Let's see if we can squeeze that shot in. Boom! That's a hit. Let me see with the spotting scope. Where did that round go? Oh my goodness, we are right on the right side of the triangle. So this was a beautiful hit. And uh, this just shows you that this rifle in the 6.5 Creedmoor absolutely kicks ass. But back to the studio. I'm sure I will discuss it more in the details. Can we do the bonus round? Bonus round, uh, you want to go for 700? Yes, I do. All right, 700, I will hold in the air. <laughs> All right, I'll hold in the air uh, on the 700 because, as I said, I'm running out of the reticle. All I got is the tip of the post at the bottom, and I, I think that should give us some aiming point. Let me know, Ola. Ready. When you are ready. All right, let's see. This was not practice. I don't have any notes for that. But let's see. Was that a hit? No. No. Uh, and I think I seen the trace on the right side. Let me see if I can correct myself here. I think elevation wise we did okay. That is a hit. That was outstanding self correction. Let me do the magnification better so I can see where that hit landed. And uh, I'll give you the. Yeah, I'm on the head. But uh, see, I'm more on the center of the, on that left screw on the head. And I seen the miss, that scope, in that scope, one to eight, I, I was able to see the trace and I knew I went, it looked like I went to the right. So that's why I push it to the left, that maybe some went down the field. Uh, those trees are working strangely. They are kind of isolating that range. But, uh, hey, that's the whole concept of the DMR, right? You can make the quick correction and boom, deliver the, the hit. Uh, not most beautiful hit at the 700 yards, but hit is a hit. <laughs> Very good performance uh, from the Vocalo Strategic uh, Galil uh, in 6.5 uh, Creedmoor. One hiccup at the 500 yards. And I will tell you guys, I was getting uh, some mirage uh, from uh, the suppressor. And uh, I, I think I didn't pay attention, and that shot went to the right. That's uh, on me. You could see the elevation-wise, we were looking good. Nothing changed there. So I did set it up uh, as a DMR, basically. Uh, that's why we got the low power scope adjustable between one and eight. Uh, it is, again, ACSS, uh, Griffin Mill. I don't even know if they make those scopes uh, still, but it worked out here very well. And it is on that mount from the RS Regulate. And I, again, found <laughs> scrap top and I put it in and boom, we got it. So the system as a proof of the concept, I, I, think, uh, I think this delivers and you can see what this rifle can do. 700 yards on no sweat, 
in the bonus round and that was the that was the hit too and uh, if you have a different glass you could probably go farther and farther uh, away so not bad at all from the rebuilt kit which was in a bad bad shape so i would say i love the situations like this instead of scrapping it uh, here was created something what brings the joy and the excitement and I know this is not the regular Galileo. I know that guys, but look look what we have done. Look what we have done uh, Still there are some uh, thing, little things which I would like uh, the uh, guys from Evocado so uh, to work on I had some issues with uh, the SNB 180 uh, FMG I think it was 180 uh, FMG rounds. Basically, the extractor was ripping off the rims uh, from the SNB uh, cases. But that SNB is known for the extremely soft brass. So other all other ammo I used in it, it was working uh, fine. But this is something to look at, and we'll see in the long run how this rifle will will uh, perform. Also, I want to show you something. Oh, well, going back to the score sheet, so if you will look from the targets, there was 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10, 11 targets, basic targets from 100 to 600, they were all uh, first, first round hits, with the exception at the 500, which was a screw up, but the correction was made, and that was a hit, and then in a bonus round, we got the 700, so hey, uh, I will take that, but now I want to show you, uh, as you can see, the color of the dust cover here is different from what I received. This is what they uh, ship it to me, and this is with the iron sights, and that's how it was, uh, you know, prepared. That's original Galil uh, dust cover. But if you have this original dust cover, then there is an issue. You cannot have the optic mounted so low. See, because it will be touching it. So I just fitted the regular, I just fitted the regular uh, dust cover from the uh, AK, and because they, you know, you can make it fit, and I use, I was able to use that combo uh, for uh, for purpose of the video. Or the, the, I from the beginning I knew I want to have uh, something like the uh, the squad designated marksman rifle. So I knew I'm going to run it with the optic, but I want to show you how it is looking with just with the iron sights. And all you got to do is switch the dust cover and boom, you got the setup with the iron uh, sights. On the side uh, of the receiver, uh, as I told you guys, they mounted the regular AK rail. That's why you can use uh, the regular AK optics with it. So. I think very interesting concept, a very interesting solution, and it for sure delivers. Uh, the, you cannot argue with the performance of, of uh, this uh, rifle. Uh, I, I think that if somehow the Evocados will make uh, and uh, try to make those as a serial production, they may be up to something, okay? Uh, as, as of right now, it's just the custom build. Uh, and uh, it is what it is, right? So uh, something unique. I know that they're working on some other prototypes. We'll see how this is going to end. Uh, I also want to show you, look how this, we had to bend uh, out the charging handle because the charging handle on the Galil is straight. And that was, uh, again, uh, hitting uh, any rings or whatever you could use for the optics. So that was another uh, thing which we found out right away when working on this project. But uh, I, I think... But the overall, the Evocado strategic <laughs> shows that they can do some magic uh, almost from nothing, right? Because they used the scrap parts and uh, then refitted everything and this baby was born. So I'm extremely happy. We keep, we'll keep working on it. We'll keep improving that rifle to make it even better. And uh, from time to time, I'll give you the updates. Uh, again, I'm running here the OSS can. Uh, 7.62 Helix uh, quick detach can works perfectly fine with this system. The KNS of uh, the basically what is on the on the end of the piston, you will see it's a KNS piston, and boom, that's how it is. But uh, it almost stays in the 
uh, fully close position. There was no guards blowing back or anything. So it is nice to have it because if you will have a traditional can and you will have that gas uh, blowback, then you can adjust it any way you want it. But as you can see, all the basically standard like uh, Galil AK components <laughs> inside and uh, the ALG trigger uh, on it. So bravo to uh, to the Evocado Strategic. You guys did a really good job. And uh, this rifle is a pure joy to shoot. Uh, I want to see more from you guys so, because you do have a talent for some unusual things. All right, guys, so let me know if you have any questions about the Galil in 6.5 Creedmoor. And uh, I'll be monitoring uh, the, the video for the next uh, 24 to 48 hours, try to post the answers, whatever I, I can. If not, I'll send you back. You know, hopefully the guys from Evocados will jump on it and watch it too. And we'll go from there. Hi, right, thank you for watching. Thanks for being with the AK Operators Union.